The sitting raised a lot of debates among deputies concerning the article that talks about the retirement edge. It is said to be among the 93 articles that were time and again discussed on since the 15th of June 2020. Some of the MPs suggested that the retirement age should be reduced from 65 years to 60. According to the wishes of some of the locals I have managed to interact with, they prefer that the retirement age gets reduced to 60 years because the Rwandan's life expectancy has gone up to 67, which means a 65-year-old may be remaining with two years before they die, which means they will have to spend all their life working as civil servants, considering that now a 16-year-old is able to be employed. The Honorable Chair did not provide us with the loss that would be incurred by the government in case the retirement age was reduced to 55 years. Some of the parliamentarians suggest that the retirement age sticks to 65 years due to the fact that the life expectancy in Rwanda has increased. The chairperson of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Social Affairs, Muhongaire Kristen, explained to the chambers of deputies why the retirement age needs to stay at 65 years for all civil servants. When it comes to life expectancy, there is no law that determines that because some people die before they even reach that age and others manage to exceed that age by up to 100 years. Which means if one reaches 65 years, it doesn't mean they are dying soon. The retirement age is for those that have been working as civil servants so that they get to rest. That's all. Concerning the part where they say that the age of 55, one is able to start their own business, is still the same thing as working because it would generate income. You claim that youth must be employed so as to benefit the betterment of the country, yet they are of Rwandans that generally have been ripping the goodness of the country. <laughs> One of the youth that happens to be the head of the NGO Youth Impact Mission, Motanyi Peter, finds the retirement age as hindrance on the job market, especially for young people looking for employment. These days you find that the aged people are eyeing the same job opportunities with young people. Hence you find that older people have an advantage over them due to the job experiences that they have and are being required, yet the young ones are only university graduates. This will result in them reaching their retirement age sooner because they will get hired when they are already old with experience, hence demanding that the retirement age gets increased so that they get to enjoy the benefits of the job. On the other hand, Dr. Munyaka as Jean-Francois, who has spent four years in retirement after working as a professor in a university and reaching the retirement age of 65 years, says that the retirement age should entirely depend on the nature of the job, whereby you'll find that some will be sent into retirement, yet they had gained a lot of their experience in that specific field. <laughs> It is not fair for one to retire when all the strength is drained and are no longer able to do other activities. Yet there are young people out here that have graduated. 65 years is a lot. Maybe those that are in charge of the establishment of the laws should reconsider to at least 58 to 62 years depending on the nature of the job. For example, you'll find that judges start being excellent in their profession at the age of 70. <laughs> On the 15th June, that's when the parliament began the approval process for the law with its 93 articles. This new law comes to replace the one that was established in 2013. Jane Mutoni, reporting for RTV.